All right, so I'm working on some images here for a PowerPoint presentation. And I'm trying to organize these pictures in such a way that I save myself as much work as possible. So I have three different types of pictures. There are pictures that are singular on the slide. There are pictures that are side by side on the slide. And then there are pictures that are in a group of four. So the first exercise I'm going to do here is to take several of the images and show you how I would size them and fit them proportionately so that they all come out essentially the same. So I'm going to start out by going File Open. And in my folder here, I have three different folders. One says Singular, one says Doubles, and one says Second Doubles. So what I'm going to start off doing is I'm going to go into the sing singular and I'm going to open up one of my images. This guy right here. Hit open. Okay. So there's my first picture. I'm going to go file save as and in the same place I'm just going to call this singular underscore group singular underscore group and it's not going to be a JPEG it's going to be a Photoshop document a PSD so singular underscore group PSD hit save there's my picture now what I want to do is I want to first of all I want to uh, set the uh, resolution as good as I can get it and I also want to get a general size for this so this is just a, a raw picture that came from the camera I'm going to go up to the image menu and I'm going to go to image size and I'm going to take a look at my image size dialog and it'll tell me that my width on this picture is 14.987 inches which is very close to 15 inches. It's also got a resolution of 300 pixels per inch which I don't need. What I'm looking for is something like a resolution of uh, 185. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to set that to a resolution of 185. And then I'm going to come in here. I'm going to set the size on this. I doubt I need 14 inches on this picture. So I'm going to probably make it, oh, let's say 9 inches. So we got 9 inches wide, and it'll automatically adjust because you got this little link here. So it's going to be 9 by 6 by a resolution of 185. The final thing that I think I'm going to do here, since I'm reducing this, I'm going to use this drop down to um, come in here and I think I'm going to probably go with by cubic sharper which as you see here it says for reduction so I'm going to set it to by cubic sharper for reduction and I'm going to hit OK and immediately the image resizes down I'm going to go view fit on screen looks good view 100 percent looks good view print size looks good so I got an image now. Uh, the sizing of this image is good. Now, in this particular case, I'm not going to color correct this and I'm not going to crop this because the person I'm doing this for needs the uh, image to be a full framed image. So uh, I'm not going to be cropping it. I'm just going to be sizing it. So now I got, I got three or four other images. And what I want to do is I want to get them all to, to work the same way. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to come to my Layers panel, and I'm actually going to pull the Layers panel out so I can see my Layers panel. And I have this one image in here. I'm going to uh, unlock the, the, the image, and I'm going to change the name of this to um, uh, call this um, single, single one. Single underscore one. Um, hit OK. Now I have my single underscore one here, and I'm going to go and I'm going to get the next image. I'm going to go file place, and I can either place it embedded or place it linked. I think I'll place it linked because I will keep it within the uh, folder with the other images. These are the next three images, so I'm going to click on this guy right here and hit place, and it brings the picture in, and I can if I want since this thing is being placed I can like hold the shift in the alt key and I can just ever so slightly adjust this and then hit place 
And now I have my second image in here. And I'm going to change the name on this to be single underscore two. So now I have single underscore one, single underscore two. There they are. And I'm going to go back up to the file menu. And once again, uh, I'm going to go place. And again, it'll be place linked. And I'm going to go down. I'm going to get my next image, which will be this guy right here. Hit place. And the, again, the image comes in. And if I want, I can hold down. I'm in, on a PC, so I'm holding down the shift and the alt. It would be shift and option on a Mac. And I'm just going to pull it tight, a little tiny bit, not a lot, just to make sure that I got it in there. And then I'm going to hit place. And now I have three images in my Photoshop file. They are all being framed exactly the same way as, uh, as the others are. This again, I'm going to slightly or slowly double click on this and I'm going to change that to single S I N G L E underscore three. So now I have single one, single two, single three. And if I hide the eyeball here, you can see me go through my images so far. And you can see that they are all being given the same basic size and proportion uh, from the original. So I got one more that I'm going to do here. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to go file place linked on for the fourth one. And I'll grab the fourth one, which is this one right here. I believe this, yes, it's that one, hit place. So once again, holding down the shift and the alt or the option key, I'm going to slightly enlarge it, not a lot, just a touch and then I'll hit place so there you go now we've got four images in here okay there they are there are our four images I could do as many of these as I want if I had 13 or 14 of them I would just keep doing this and I would keep creating different layers and I would just change the name on these things to single in this case it's going to be single underscore whoops underscore four okay so I got single one single two single three single four so that's it that's really all there is to doing this especially since you're not doing any kind of um, uh, color correction or any kind of fancy adjustment this is all you need to do to set up individual pictures that will all be in the end the same size so now the next step is how do I save these things as the individual files because I'm gonna go file save to save the Photoshop document with these pictures in it. So now what I want to do is I want to go in and I want to export these pictures in a form that I can use in um, PowerPoint. So I'm going to do that by hiding the eyeball on these first three and going back to my original first single one. And I'm going to go file. I could go file save. I could go actually file, I'm sorry, file save as or I could go file save for web. I think I'm just going to go file save as and in the same place this is in the Carino folder singular I'm going to save this thing as a JPEG in and I'm going to go up one level and if I can let's see if I could do this uh, where's my folder I guess I can't really do that uh, let's see new folder yeah here we go new folder I'm going to call this uh, single underscore final and I'm going to open that and this is going to be I'm not going to leave it uh, named single group I'm going to come in here and I'm going to change the name to be single one that's because that's what I'm calling it over here Again, this doesn't, it doesn't have to be named this way. It could be named slightly differently, but I'm just going with this name because it's easy for you to see and understand where I'm going with this. And notice that in the single final folder, there's nothing yet. So what's going to end up happening is single underscore one will end up being a JPEG in here, and this will be one of the images that will be put into the um, PowerPoint presentation. And I just hit save, and I don't make any changes to this. I'm going to leave this as large as I can leave it and I hit OK. And that's all there is to doing that. And you do the same thing with these guys right here. So I'll go File, Save As, and come back into here. And I'm going to go to, again, Carino. I'm going to go to my Single Final folder. 
and this is still single group PSD this is what it wants to put in there but that's not what I want to put it in as I want to put it in as a JPEG so I'm going to come in and I'm going to make the change notice that when I do that you can now see the other singular one JPEG that I created just a minute ago I'm going to come in and I'm going to change the name of this and it's going to be singular too obviously because that's the layer that I'm working with hit save and don't change anything on that leave it large file and hit OK now there's two done I'll do the other two just so that you could see it file save as back up to single final the folder I'm saving all this stuff in change this again to a JPEG change the name that's three so I've got one two and this is now three hit save leave this as a large file hit OK and the final one file save as once again I'm gonna go up one level to where I can find my folder single file open it up change this to a JPEG and just come in here and this one is number four and there's one two three and now four is going in and hit save and I would uh, again leave this large file hit OK and basically that's all there is to it I would just continue doing this first I'd import all the pictures and I'd get them in the way I want them and then I would just basically name them single so on and so forth up the list however many you got and then I just one at a time go in and export them like I'm doing now if you want to see what this looks like let me let me minimalize this for a second and open up Carino and look at single final and there are my images there are the four images these are not the original images these are the images that I sized and did work on in Photoshop so that's really all there is to it um, and that's the end of this little lesson